welcome back friends so in this lecture i am going to talk about the quantum mechanical model for helium atom so in my older lecture i have given some brief description about the quantum mechanical model for hydrogen atom so hydrogen atom is basically one electron uh, system where uh, only one electron is orbiting around the nucleus but in case of helium atom it is a two electron system so there are basically uh, three types of uh, factor that uh, arises while we have to calculate the potential term in the hamiltonian operator for helium atom so in this lecture i am going to derive the hamiltonian operator in case of uh, helium atom so this is basically a simplistic uh, picture of the quantum mechanical model for helium atom as you can see it is uh, the nucleus is at the origin it is uh, assumed to be fixed at the origin and uh, in case of helium atom as you can see that there are basically two protons mm -hmm. and two neutron at the nucleus now there are basically two electrons that is uh, rotating around this nucleus so you can see that this is the electron number 1 which is having mass of me and this is the electron number 2 which is also having the mass me on the other hand the mass of the nucleus is basically consist of two proton and two neutron so the mass of the uh, nucleus will be equal to 2 into mass of the proton plus 2 into mass of neutron so this is the total mass of the nucleus now you can see that there are basically three types of distances that we have to take care of the first is the distance between the nucleus and the electron one which is designated as r1 on the other hand the second is the distance between the electron two and nucleus which is designated as r2 and this r12 is basically distance between these two uh, electrons so now you can see that basically there are three types of coordinates that is r1 that is the coordinates of electron one r2 is the coordinates of electron two and rn is basically the coordinates of the uh, nucleus now the distance r1 is basically uh, r1 minus rn so all these are basically vector which has some specific value as well as some direction so that's why it is designated as vector sign so by using this equation we can actually determine the this this distance r1 r2 and r12 so as you can see that the wave function of the helium atom is basically depending upon this three coordinates factor so that is the first r1 coordinate that is the coordinate of the electron 1 uh, r2 that is the coordinates of electron 2 and rn that is the coordinates of uh, nucleus now if you uh, just compare this uh, quantum mechanical model with hydrogen atom we can uh, if you just try to compare it we can see that in case of hydrogen atom we have to take care of only the coordinates of the electron but as in case of helium atom there are two electrons present there so that's why we have to take care of the coordinates of both of these electrons so that is the most important difference between the quantum mechanical model for hydrogen atom and helium atom now this is the schrodinger equation for helium atom so the hamiltonian operator h operating on the wave function which is basically depending upon these three coordinates uh, that will give rise to the e that is the energy of the total system into that psi so e is basically the energy eigen value now uh, you know that the hamiltonian operator is basically the total energy operator which consists of two part that is first the kinetic energy part that is kinetic energy operator and the second is potential energy operator now uh, you have uh, uh, i have told you in my lecture lecture on quantum mechanical model for hydrogen atom the kinetic energy operator part the expression for the kinetic energy operator part is like that this is minus h cross square by 2 into me by into delta square so uh, this delta square is basically called the laplacian operator which is basically uh, uh, delta square can be written as second derivative with respect to x uh, that is second partial derivative with respect to x y and z so this is uh, called the laplacian op operator so you can see that this is the kinetic energy operator for uh, hydrogen atom which is a basically one electron system 
now in case of helium atom as it is a three particle system so you have to take care the kinetic energy operator that is uh, term um, for the both all these three particles so you can see that the kinetic energy operator will be uh, the expression for the kinetic energy operator will be summation of the kinetic energy for the electron one kinetic energy for electron two and kinetic energy for the nucleus so the total kinetic energy operator part will be minus h cross square by 2 me into the laplacian operator term for the electron one similarly this is uh, for the laplacian operator for electron two and this is the kinetic energy term for the nucleus now as you can see that uh, the mass of this nucleus that is uh, 2 into mass of the proton plus 2 into mass of the neutron is much much greater than the mass of the electron so that's why this value will be very very low so it is almost tends, tends to zero so this concept is basically called the born oppenheimer approximation concept so as this mass of the whole nucleus is much more greater than the mass of the electron so that's why the kinetic energy for the nucleus is assumed to be zero so it is assumed that the uh, nucleus is basically fixed around in the origin and the electrons are basically rotating around the nucleus so as the nucleus is fixed at the origin it do not have any uh, kinetic energy term so that's why we can neglect this term so our total kinetic energy operator will be approximated to these two term only that is the kinetic energy that is as a, uh, associated with electron 1 and this is the kinetic energy that is associated with electron 2 so this is the total kinetic energy operator part for helium atom now uh, just see how we can derive the second part that is the potential energy operator part so we can see that uh, the psi that is the wave function previously we have told you that this psi wave function is basically depending upon the three coordinate that is the coordinate of the electron one coordinate of electron two and coordinate of nucleus now as the nucleus we have uh, assumed that it is fixed at the origin so the dependency of this wave function for helium atom on the coordinates of the nucleus is now nullified now we can say that the uh, total uh, wave function for helium atom is basically depending upon the two factor that is the coordinates of electron 1 and the coordinates of electron 2 now you can see that the coordinates of electron 1 will depend upon the three coordinates value x1 y1 z1 similarly the coordinates of electron 2 will also depend upon three factor x2 y2 z2 in cartesian coordinate so you can see that now the wave function our wave function for helium atom is basically depending upon total 3 plus 3 6 factor or 6 coordinates term okay now you can see that this is the hamiltonian operator for uh, helium atom that is equal to the kinetic energy for electron 1 kinetic energy operator for electron 2 plus potential energy operator now we have to derive this potential energy operator term now you can see that this is electron 1 this is the position of the electron 2 and this is the position of the nucleus now you can see that the whole potential energy operator term is basically depending upon the coulombing, pot coulombic potential that is acting in between these three particles okay so now you can see that in between these two particles there is a coulombic electrostatic or coulombic repulsion will be there so that's why we can say the uh, the potential that is v12 will be arises due to the repulsion in between these two electron on the other hand there will be coulombic attraction between electron one and the nucleus so that's why this coulombic uh, uh, this potential energy part will be uh, appeared this is because of the coulombic attraction between electron one and nucleus and this uh, potential part is arises because of the coulombic attraction between this electron 2 and this nucleus now you can say see that there are two charged particle that is particle 1 and particle 2 
one is having a charge of q1 and another is having a charge of q2 and the distance in between these two particle is r now in that case the potential that is arises due to the coulombic uh, attraction or repulsion in between these two particle can be expressed like this that is q1 into q2 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into r where q1 and q2 is basically charge of these two particle epsilon 0 is basically the relative permittivity of that uh, medium in between these two particle and r is the distance in between these two particle so if we follow this equation uh, for in this case you can uh, actually derive the potential energy factor arises for the total system so you can say that this potential energy part arises because of this coulombic attraction is equal to the charge of this electron that is minus e into charge of this nucleus that is equal to plus 2e plus 2e because the, uh, the z for uh, helium is equal to 2 because there are two protons are there and the charge of the proton is just opposite to the charge of the electron so that's why this term is arises and r1 is basically the distance in between the electron 1 and nucleus similarly this potential energy term will be equal to the uh, charge of the electron 2 into the charge of the nucleus into 4 pi epsilon 0 into the distance in between this uh, two particles and the third uh, term th that is third potential factor that is v12 that is will be equal to the e square that is charge of electron 1 into charge of electron 2 as both are having negative charge so negative negative cancelled out so it will become positive so e square into 4 pi epsilon 0 into the distance in between these two particles so you can see that this is the total potential energy operator for this whole system for helium atom so as you can see this is the total uh, potential energy part for helium atom now you can see that uh, if we have this types of wave function that is depending upon the two factor that is the coordinates of electron 1 and coordinates of electron 2 to simplify this uh, we generally uh, take the help of the separation of variable where you can see that this psi is basically depending upon the two variable that is coordinates of electron 1 and coordinates of electron 2 so if we just separate this wave function into two function uh, that is the first function uh, is basically depending upon the coordinates of electron 1 and the second function is basically depending upon the coordinates of electron 2 so if we uh, express our wave function uh, like this then our problem will be much more simplified because we can separate out these two factor by using this separation of variable so we will see whether in our this uh, case where for helium atom whether we can use this concept of separation separation of variable or not that we will test now you can see that this is the total Hamiltonian operator for the helium atom which consists of the kinetic energy operator and the potential energy operator. So we have uh, proved that this is the uh, term that is arises due to the kinetic energy operator and these are the three terms that is operated uh, or occurred due to the potential energy uh, operator. Now as you can see that the main problem is arises due to this factor okay the why uh, we are saying this you can see that uh, uh, the this factor that is minus uh, plus e square into 4 pi epsilon 0 r12 basically depends on two sets of coordinates simultaneously but in this case you can see that this factor only depending upon the coordinates of electron 1 this factor only depends upon coordinates of electron 2 this uh, factor depends upon the coordinate of electron 1 and this factor depends only upon the coordinates of electron 2 however this factor uh, depend upon provided there is a repulsion term in between the two electron so this factor depends upon both coordinates of electron 1 as well as coordinates of electron 2 so in that case we cannot uh, use the separation of variable concept because we cannot able to uh, actually 
divide or actually express this function into the function of uh, the coordinates of electron 1 and coordinates of electron 2 both terms are uh, they are intricately so the, the because of this term we cannot use this separation of variable concept in case of helium atom so the solution or the solution of this problem is to we do not have we, we do not get the exact solution for this helium atom so to get some uh, get the solution for helium atom we have to take the help of some of the approximation principle or approximation method so there are many approximation methods that were available or developed uh, during the course of this uh, quantum mechanical quantum mechanical development so all those things that uh, i will discuss in my due course of this lecture so if you have any other questions or query regarding this lecture you can ask me through the comment section and please uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel chem thank you very much take care of yourself bye